All right, Mr. Tanner, I believe that you have a special guest to introduce tonight for us. And I, I think I have your mic on, but I will. There you go. Thank you you. Up? No, I don't need no help getting up. Are we going to do the uh, invocation before we do the pledge? I'll let you start with the pledge and introduce our guests, and then we'll move to okay. the invocation. I'd like to introduce uh, tonight uh, the student that's going to lead the meeting in the pledge. Leading tonight's pledge is Bailey Rout. Bailey, would you come to the podium, please? Bailey is an honor roll student at Lake Harbor Middle, where she is a member of the band, course, and the Louisiana State Championship Robotics Team. She is active in Girl Scouts, play softball, basketball, and volleyball. Bailey loves to read and has won excellence in reading awards, as well as awards for her artwork, science projects, and good deeds within the Kiwanis K Kids. Bailey plans on attending Duke University to major in engineering and to minor in graphic arts because one day she wants to work for Google. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey is accompanied by her parents, Larry Rout. Stand up, Larry. Larry is a Covington High School product, played football at Covington High, went on to college, played ball, and then came back and coached numerous places in the state state championship down in Superdome. Superdome, huh? Yeah, yeah, 80, 81, 82. <laughs> 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 and serving as central office supervisor, Ms. Blair Hawkins Rout, and principal Susan Potan. Thank you all for being here. Bailey, would you lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if you'll remain standing for the invocation, Mr. Grover, I believe you have a special guest tonight. Yes, I do. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, tonight, I've invited uh, Pastor Doug McAllister uh, to come in and do our blessing. Uh, he has been the lead pastor of the Journey Fellowship Church in Slidell and in Bell Chase since 1996. Doug and his wife, Miss Rachel, has raised five great kids on the North Shore, and they're proud parents of their first granddaughter, Haley Grace. A lot of people may recognize the pastor. If it was not for the pastor, the adult education program graduation probably wouldn't be in a nice facility. He lends his facility every year to the adults who have furthered and committed and got back into the groove, and that I thank you very much. Plus, this church also helps the community in many things from food to clothing to anything that they need. And with that, I would like to ask his blessing. Thank you, Councilman. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Great creator of the universe, we pause right now to humble ourselves before you. First of all, to thank you for your grace and love and to ask you for wisdom. We thank you, Lord God, for the blessings on this amazing parish. And we thank you for all these wonderful council men and women and all the staff and leaders, God, who serve every day to make this a great community. We pray, Father, that your grace would be on this meeting tonight. We pray for wisdom from heaven. We pray for all those who are bring, bringing business today before the parish for grace upon them. We pray, Father, that you would bless St. Tammany, that you would add your grace to our community, to every family, to every home, to every student, to every child. We look to you today, Father, for your help, for your grace, and your wisdom. In the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we wish you, Bailey, the best of luck in your adventures. Thank you for coming this evening. <laughs> Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Mr. Dean? Here. Mr. Fitzgerald? Here. Mr. Thompson? Here. Mr. Toledano? Present. Mr. Tanner? Here. Mr. Lurino? Here. Ms. Blanchard? Present. Mr. Groby? Here. Mr. Canulet? Here. Mr. Belisario? Here. Ms. O'Brien? Mr. Stefanczyk? Present. Mr. Bender? Mr. Smith? You have a quorum. Thank you so much.
Madam President, I believe you have a presentation and proclamation of St. Tammany Parish Government Employee of the Month. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Once again, I'm very happy to come on up beside me, please, Valerie, present our Employee of the Month. Whereas Valerie Talley began her career with St. Tammany Parish Government in August of 2015 in the Facilities Management Department as a Project Administrator and was prom promoted to Project Manager in April 2016. And in January of 2018, she accepted a position as Buyer in the Procurement Department. And whereas Valerie brings a wealth of project management and procurement experience from her previous employment in the private sector, and whereas she has worked on many major projects for the parish, including the St. Tammany Parish Regional Airport improvements, the Safe Haven Project, and various improvement projects at the Justice Center, and whereas she is instrumental in drafting project management policies and procedures which incorporated everything from budget approval to project closeout, and where she has improved the efficiency of the Department of Environmental Services and Tammany Utilities by streamlining and formalizing their procurement processes, processes, and whereas Valerie's positive and cooperative attitude, as well as her thoroughness and attentive attention to detail, has made her a valuable team member, and we thank her for her service to St. Tammany Parish. Now, therefore, I, Patricia Brister, as president of St. Tammany Parish, do hereby recognize the hard work and the accomplishments of Valerie Talley as our Employee of the Month for July 2018 and encourage all employees of St. Tammany Parish to thank her for her contributions and commitment to St. Tammany Parish. Thank you, Valerie, for all your hard work every day. Thank you. Thanks Valerie. so much. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Sir, did you get the picture you want? Okay, just want to make sure. Thank you. The next item is appointments. I believe that Mr. Tanner, you have a motion to make. Yes, I, I want to remove that from the agenda. Uh, that person's already been appointed by Ms. Brister. Thank you. Okay, and up where there was a second by Mr. Thompson. Please vote. Hold on. We're up in a moment. Okay. Do you, would she you like a rubber turned, vote? She hadn't done it. Okay. There's a problem with the voting machine. We need a verbal vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? It appears to be an unanimous vote of those present. Okay. Moving on to the consent calendar. Um, any item not pulled from the consent calendar are automatically approved in whole or by one vote. Items pulled from the consent calendar are discussed and voted upon individually. So far, I'm aware that item number 10 has been requested to be pulled. pulled. That's ordinance calendar number 6010. Under, number, under resolutions, item number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 have been requested to be pulled. Repeat, item number one, resolution CS number C-4986. Item number two, resolution CS number C-4987. Resolution CS number C-4988. Resolution CS number C-4989. Resolution CS number four C-4990. Resolution CS number C-4991. Resolution CS number C-4992, resolution CS number C-4993, and item number nine, resolution CS number C-4994. In addition, item number 10, resolution CS number 5-5024 has been asked to be pulled. Item number 11, resolution CS number C-5025. Item number 12, Resolution CS number C-5026. Item number 18, resolution CS number C-5032. Item number 19, resolution CS number C-5033. And item number 20, 
Resolution CS number C-5034. Item number 22, Resolution CS number C-5036, and number 23 of the Resolution CS number C-5037. All other, I or let me start with Mr. Dean. Is there any other item you would like to poll? Can I just poll all the rest of them? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take that. You have no other item. Thank uh, you. Mr. Fitzgerald. No. Mr. Thompson. No. Mr. Teledano. No, thank you. Mr. Tanner. Mr. Lorena? No, thank you. Mr. Groby? No, ma'am. Mr. Canulet? You got enough already. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Velasario? None. Ms. O'Brien is not present. Mr. Stefanczyk? None. And Mr. Bender and Mr. Smith is not present. Okay. May I have a vote for all other items? I have a motion by Mr. Lorena, uh, second by Mr. Belisario. All in favor, are we able to vote? We are, we are able to vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Okay. And, uh, yes, oh, I'm sorry there, Mr. Teledano, I believe that you wanted to make a special yep. request, but Ma this is an off the floor item. It's an off the floor item, it is indeed. So we would first. We have Judge Garner here tonight and so we would like to have a vote to go to, do you want to go to the off the floor items at this time? I would, ma'am. Okay. And um, so moved. All right, and we have a second by Mr. Groby. This must be a unanimous vote to go off the floor. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Stefanczyk? Motion is unanimous, three absent. Okay. And Mr. Teledano, I believe that you wanted to pull one. I, I would suggest we just take the one out of order. Um, I believe that's item number two. And then we'll go back. We'll take the rest of the items off the floor at the end of the meeting as normal. That's correct. Thank okay. you very much, Madam Chairman. Uh, I, I would like to at this time uh, move uh, that the item off the floor designated as item number two, specifically an agenda, uh, a resolution uh, of which uh, Judge Gardner is here to speak to. It's a wonderful program that he deserves a lot of credit for, and I would ask that he be moved up from the prestigious position of last on our agenda uh, to, uh, to this position. Thank you very much. So moved. We have a first and a second. Um, Mr. Thompson was the second. All in favor? No. Where is Mr. Belisario? Motion is unanimous, three absent. I assume that Mr. Teledano, you'd like to make the motion on this item? Had I not done that, I would probably be last on the judge's docket at the next uh, time I appear before him. But jokingly, I, I, I would at this time move uh, to um, uh, pass the resolution to support the mission of the 22nd Judicial District Family Justice Initiative, and I'll yield to Judge Gardner to explain the program. Okay. And we have a second from Mr. Lorena, so we may discuss it. Judge Gardner, if you'd like to please come to the podium. Madam Chair and members of the council, to our parish president and the staff. Um, I didn't prepare a whole lot of remarks. Um, one of my observations is I wish that everyone could see how late into the evening each of you work, what time your cars may pull into your driveways at home, and the fact that there are no days off, even for the chair of the council, truly. The JDAI was presented to us by Justice Kidry as well as other members of the Supreme Court JDAI stands for Juvenile Detention Alternative Initiative. We would be the sixth parish to be added to a list of JDAI sites. And we would hope at that point to become eligible for grant money from the Office of Juvenile Justice, 
from the Justice Reinvestment Initiative and from LCLE, my life is spent figuring out initials, <laughs> Louisiana Commission on Law Enforcement Funds. What we recognize is that pretrial detention of low-risk youth makes them more likely to reoffend, less likely to become re-enrolled in school, and will already put very challenged kids into much worse situations. So if we can find alternatives such as electronic monitoring, drug testing, counseling, and treatment prior to adjudication, we may be able to keep more of these children in their homes rather than in detention, which is costly in terms of human cost, costly to their families, costly to their careers, and costly to the taxpayers. With that in mind, your resolution in favor of the 22nd JDC, St. Tammany Parish, becoming a JDAI site will simply enable us to have the status of going before other bodies to get money, help, programs, and uh, perhaps data management to make sure that we're doing best practices in keeping children in their homes. With that in mind, I know I gave you a mouthful, and I'll answer any questions that you may have. I see no member in the queue. We thank you for your dedication to our children. It's a pleasure, and it's an honor to be the uh, juvenile judge. Thank you. And we now need a vote on the resolution. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Thank resolution you. will be prepared, and the clerk um, will help you get it. I feel like I just won the figure skating contest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, folks. Thank you. We will now go back to the agenda. I believe that we had a vote on. Did we? Did did we make it through the vote, Madam Clerk? Okay, so we did make it through the vote. So we are now at item number ten. That was asked to be pulled. This is. Uh, Ordinance calendar number 6010, an ordinance to amend the 2018 operating budget. Amendment number six. Ms. Long. Yes, ma'am. Ordinance calendar 6010, as you said, is amendment six to the 2018 operating budget. This um, amendment will uh, true up all the fund balances based on the 2017 audit, as well as provide funding let me find it for the three dedicated ditching crews and equipment in the Department of Public Works. All right, we have a um, motion to move it by Mr. Lorino, and, and we have a second by Mr. Tanner. I don't believe that we have to do anything further. Um, that brings us to resolutions. Item number one, resolution CS number C-4986, a resolution to acknowledge the receipt and review of the 2017 Municipal Water Pollution Prevention Environmental Audit Report for the Westwood Sewage Treatment Facility Ward 4, District, District 5. Is that, is that you? Do we? Just your focus. Can we do it? Oh, I'm so sorry. One through nine. All right. That's, let me go to Mr. Belisario to make the motion. I apologize. Okay. Second. I'd like to make I'd like to make a motion to postpone resolutions one through nine until next month. Okay. So moved. And we had a second by Mr. Lorino. Any further? Um, and I think we need a vote to yes. postpone. That's correct. I've seen... Uh, I see no other member in the queue, therefore, please vote. <clears throat> Motion is unanimous, three absent. Okay, this is Bell's head again. All right, we're on item number 10 of resolution C. S number C-5024, resolution approving the holding of an election in the parish fire district number 11. Mr. Belisario. All right, so, oh, it's district number 11, I'm sorry. Who, it just got. It should be you. Oh, it has Belisario. Yeah. yeah. That's me. I, I have uh, Chief Dockery, uh, the Grand Chief to come up. 
Go for a quick presentation on this particular item. Thank you. Thank you. Grant Schluter with Foley Udell Bond Council and uh, Chief Dockery is here also. Uh, this is a 10 year renewal. Uh, it'll be on the December 8th election. And uh, if you have any questions concerning it, the rate uh, is the same as approved at the last election, the term is the same, and the purpose is the same. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of council. Just a couple quick notes. Um, this one millage is roughly 25% of our budget. Um, it is used for acquisition of uh, equipment and manpower. Also, we're going through a PIL rating. Right now, we are a three. I would ask to pass this for the election so we can help maintain this three rating. Um, that's all I have for that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, to make a motion to approve. There is an the administration. Did anybody from the administration table request to speak? Okay. All right. And so we have the motion. Motion. Chris second. And Chris seconded. Um, seeing no other member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Thank you for coming you. tonight. Next item is item 11, resolution CS number C-5025, a resolution approving the issuance of limited tax certificates of recreation district number 14. Mr. Loreno. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we have the uh, director of uh, Coquille Park. He's just going to come up uh, along with Mr. Suda and uh, talk on it. Thank you. This is uh, for approval of... 1,425,000 of limited tax bonds. It's to continue the capital improvement program. The executive director does have details of what is being uh, proposed for expenditures on this program. Uh, we are going through an RFP process with all banks, uh, including but not limited to all banks in St. Tammany Parish. Uh, the district has a municipal advisor uh, who is here also. She is uh, Stephanie Ferry with Raymond James and uh, they are RFPing all these banks and we expect to receive those proposals within the next week or so. Um, this does not involve any millage increase. It's an existing millage that is uh, being funded into bonds. They have some outstanding bonds also, but this will uh, uh, not result in any increase to taxpayers. Thank you. Thank you. Sir? Uh, as Mr. Schluter said, this isn't going to be at the cost of any of the taxpayers. We're going to dedicate funds in our general fund in order to uh, take out the certificate of indebtedness in order to finish the build out of the park and give Rec District 14 the park they deserve. Thank you, sir. I'll make a motion, Mr. Madam Chair. And we have a second from Mr. Thompson. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Thank you. Thank you very much. That brings us to item number 18, a resolution CS number C-50. Did I miss one? I had 18. 12. Oh, I thought I got 12. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, item number 12, resolution C. S number C-5026, a resolution approving the holding of election and drainage district number four. This is related to Mr. Smith's district, but Mr. Belisario is going to handle it for him. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, this issue was discussed at a genuine review and there were concerns over it. And I spoke to Carter and Riles and they had worked on the resolution. So I'd like to have Carter and, uh, explain what the change is so we can move forward. Okay. And... Step one. Okay. Yes, sir, Mike. Um, I'm not oh, sure. That's Carlin. I, didn't, I apologize. Oh, you're fine. Is if there's anyone from this district here tonight? In the back. Yeah. Yes. Um, we just had. We might have been Mike. 
We and noticed in the call that it's for five years, but you've got actually six years listed. So we would just suggest that you might orally make that change from it ending the last year of collection from 2025 to 2024. Well, there are two taxes, so it's actually not six years left. Um, the resolution on the agenda for... It's for $96. Right, and it commences in 2020, and then it ends in 2025, but it says it's for a five-year term, and that's six years of collection. Uh, we generally try to pass it uh, a year before it is eliminated. Okay. And, and the reason for that is that uh, if it fails... No, we're not talking about the timeline, okay. but it's a five-year tax. So you've got the first collection in 2020, then 21, 22, 23, 24 she, she should be your last Carter, year. Is that mic on? No, I think you uh, I'm not sure that you have that right. No, sir. What she's telling you, the five-year tax that last at year 2020 is the last year of the current tax. So you're looking at 2021 through 2025. Right. It's, it's, it's just... We would just ask that you make an oral amendment to the proposition that instead of it end in 2025, it end in 2024. Okay. And so, Mr. Belisario, are you, will you make the motion to amend? Well, I'm going to clarify. He's talking, he, they're going out a year early, and that was the 2020. Okay, and then he's going through 2025. So Resolution. when does this tax end? At the end of 2018 or 2019, or what? No, that's not the issue at all. It's just the, the term in the call, in the proposition, it says it's for a five-year term, mm -hmm. but they have six years of collection Then listed. he has to remove the first year, 2020. That's what you're saying, go 2021 through 25, or is it 20 through 24? It, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, can we pull... In the resolution, I assume. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at paragraph one, two, three, four, five, and six. Am I in the right spot, Ms. Rollin? Look in the proposition. Okay. Yes, that's where I am. That's paragraph one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it says, shall drainage district number four of the St. Tammany Parish, state of Louisiana, be authorized to renew a levy of 96 annual maintenance and operation tax for a five-year term commencing 2020 and ending in 2025. Sir, when would you want the tax to commence? Are you wanting 2020? Well, we would like the tax to commence at the time that the old okay. portion is going out. And that's the whole, uh, I know when we had it approved that they gave specific dates. I, I don't okay. happen to have that information with me at the I have time. the you previous have call okay. and it ends in 2019. Okay. So it ends so in 2019. You, you want to start it in 2020. 2020 to 2024. So you just so it should be Okay, because of the 5 years you needed to say that it commences in 2020 ending in 2024. Right, because if we end it in 2025 that's 6 years. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah, Do, I, I understand. Yeah, that. Right. Yeah. Okay. I Sorry agree. if I yes. wasn't clear. Do, would you like to see it, sir? The no, so ma'am. It, it, okay. Like, so you would like a member to make that that amend or make a motion for that amendment for you? Yes, I would. Mr. Belisario. I will make the amendment to change the timeline from 2020 through 2024. And Mr. Canulet second it. Please vote. I see I'm, see no other member in the queue to discuss this. <clears throat> motion is unanimous, three absent. Okay. And then we need a motion and a second. Uh, um, the first was by Mr. Belsero, second by Mr. Canulet. Um, Seeing no member of the queue to vote, please. I mean, seeing no member of the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. I, I know, I can't. It, once I go into the voting, I can't change any of the mics at that point. 
All right, that brings us, I believe, to item number 18, a resolution CS number 5032, a resolution to concur or not concur with the Slido annexation and rezoning of 1.79 acres from Parish A-4 to Slido A-6, Ward 9, District 12. I assume that we have a motion by Mr. Belisario. Yes, a motion to... A, uh, not concur. Not concur. <clears throat> and we have a second by Mr. Canulet. Is there any further discussion? I know that's what I was looking to see. I didn't know if Mike had anything to say on it. So, no. Yeah. All right. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous. Three absent. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Can I just ask a question? Yes, ma'am. They may have discussed this at agenda review, but um, is there a reason it's not, we're not concurring? Because usually if we get all everything in line, and I, it, I don't even yes, know what it is. I'm just asking the procedure is usually if everything I, is in line and ready, they usually concur. So if okay. so, I just wanted yes, to make sure there's a, a reason on record. Yes, there is. Thank you. Annexation piece is not uh, concurrent with the rest of the land, so it's non it's non continuous. That's that's the reason. Then thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, that brings us to item number 19, resolution CS number C-5033, resolution to concur or not concur with the slide out annexation rezoning of 1.08 acres from parish. HC-2 to Slidell C-4 Highway Commercial District Ward 8 um, or Ward 8 District 14. Um, Mr. Smith is not here. Mr. Belisario, are you handling this one too? Yes, I am. Motion to concur. Right, we have a motion to concur. Is there a second? And we have a second by Mr. Canulet. Um, I'm assuming that the administration, Bell, uh, all, is it this, does the administration want to speak on this one? Okay, all right, so that's from the last. All right, just making sure. All right, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item number 20, resolution C. S number C-5034, resolution to concur or not concur with the Covington annexation and rezoning of 20.27 acres from Parish A-4 to Covington RS-2, residential district, Ward 3, District 3. Move to concur. And we have second, second by Mr. Lorino. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. <laughs> Mr. Dean, I'm sorry I pushed the button before you cast your vote. You. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what is your vote, please? Thank you. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item 22, resolution C. S number C-5036, resolution to amend ordinance CS number 18-3881, the 2018 grant budget, Ms. Long. This resolution is to accept one grant award from the Community Water Enrichment Fund, and it's for the funding related to the installation of electronic water meters and registers. Okay. We have a, a motion from Mr. Lorino, second. second by Mr. Taladano. <laughs> Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item number 23, resolution CS number C-5037, a resolution to amend ordinance CS number 17-3823 to make changes to the 2018 capital improvement budget and capital assets. Ms. Long. Yes, C-5037 will amend the capital improvement budget to add about 30 road and drainage infrastructure projects and also to identify the equipment that will be purchased for the D3 dedicated ditching crews in the Department of Public Works. 
We have a motion by Mr. Lorino. We have a second by Mr. Tanner. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to appeals. We have appeal number one, Rochelle Swanson appealing the Zoning Commission approval on May 1st, 2018 to rezone 10.44 acres located east of East Highway 190 Service Road, south of Melanie Lane, north of Slimmer Road from A3 Suburban District to HC-1 Highway Commercial District and NC-1 Professional Office District to HC-2A Highway Commercial District, District 5. And Yes, hold on, sir. What's that? Uh, Lord, I'm sorry. Please. Uh, Madam Chairman, this matter has um, been um, worked on for some time to the credit of, of the uh, Homeowners Association as well as the developer. There's still some work to be done, but, but I believe we're working towards a resolution. But for what will have to be done, I'm going to ask that the matter be postponed uh, for 60 days, and I believe that by that time we should have a full resolution. But both groups are working together beautifully to come to some understanding and resolution. So I move to postpone for 60 days okay. or to the next you council meeting past 60 days. Is that okay? We have a motion and we have a second from Mr. Lorino. Madam Clerk, is there any clarification on that? Um, it will be postponed until the September meeting. Okay. Thank you. Um, we'll need a vote on the postponement. I do have a card from Ms. Swanson. I assume that she does not want to speak okay. on the matter. Did, did just, you want to? I was just here in case there were any questions that you had okay. for the, uh, for the, uh, okay. Because at the time we did that, there was no association. It was just me. Okay. But I had the we're just postponed. I just want to make sure that, and I assume you'll continue to work with Mr. Yeah. Teledonna. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Mr. Stefanczyk. What's that? What's the question? Motion is unanimous. <laughs> okay. Three that, absent. That brings us to ordinances for adoption. One, ordinance calendar number 5953AA, an ordinance to amend the parish code. Regarding leash, leash law rela relative to the tethering of animals, Mr. Tanner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I lost leash you in the excitement of it. It's under adoption. It's yours. Oh, it's mine. Is there another mine? postponement? <laughs> I move for adoption. <laughs> All right. We have a motion for adoption and a second by Mr. Lorino. I see no other member in the queue. Please vote. That's the one for you. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item number two, ordinance calendar number 5986, an ordinance to revoke a portion of 6th Street Ward 4, District, District 5. Mr. Teledonna. Move for the adoption. Okay. And we have a second by Mr. Thompson. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. We have item number three, ordinance calendar number 5987, ordinance accepting finalization of subdivisions into the road and drainage inventory, Ward 1, District 1, Mr. Dean. So moved. And we have second by Mr. Thompson. Seeing no other member in the queue, please vote. Or Ms. Mr. Belsero, did you want to speak on this? Okay. Motion is unanimous, three absent. We are at ordinance number 5988, an ordinance to impose a six month moratorium on property within a defined area within St. Tammany Parish, Council District number 14. This is Mr. Smith's district. I believe Mr. Belisario, you will be handling this. Yes, I'll make a motion to adopt. Second. And we have a second by Mr. Canulet. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That, 
brings us to item number five, ordinance calendar number 5989, ordinance to authorize the parish president to acquire certain parcels for Highway 41, Spur Bridge, Ward 8, District 6 and 9. Mr. Belisario? So moved to adopt. And a second by Mr. Tanner. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Item number six, ordinance calendar number 5990, ordinance authoring the parish president to enter into a servitude agreement with Clico Power, Ward 4, District 7. Moved. Moved by Mr. Groby. Is there a second by Mr. Canulet? Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Sorry. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Ordinance number, or ordinance calendar number 5991, ordinance to declare multiple tax adjudicated properties as surplus properties. Mr. Lorino, so moved. Mr. Thompson has second. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. All right. Okay, that brings us to item number eight, ordinance calendar number 5992, ordinance to correct the road and drainage inventory to include an extension of Plum Drive, Ward 9, District 12. Mr. Bender, Mr. Canulet, I believe you are handling this. So moved. Second. And we have a second by Mr. Belisario. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Ms. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item number nine, ordinance count number 5993, an ordinance amending the official parish zoning map to reclassify 17.69 acres from A-4 to A-3 to MD-1, A-3, and A-4A, Ward 3, District 5. Mr. Teledonna? So moved. Is that correct? Thank you much, Okay. And do we have a second? All right, Mr. Thompson. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Mr. Fitzgerald. Mr. Fitzgerald. Thank you. Motion passes with 10 yeas, one abstention, three absent. I'm sorry. Item number 10, ordinance count number 5994, ordinance amending the official parish zoning map to reclassify 14.80 acres from A-1 to A-2, Ward 2, District 6. So moved. moved by Mr. Tanner. Second. A second by Mr. Thompson. Red. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. <coughs> Item number 11, ordinance count number 5995, an ordinance amend the official parish zoning map to reclassify 11,400 square feet, or I mean square feet from A-6 to A-4A, Ward 9, District 13. Moved by Mr. Belisario, second by Mr. Sponzik. All in favor, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Sydney, can you come here one minute, please? Thank you. 
Thank you. Item number 12, ordinance count number 5996, an ordinance amending the official parish zoning map to reclassify 7.25 acres from A-3 to A-3 and MHO, Ward 6, District 6. So moved. moved by Mr. Tanner. Second. We have a second by Mr. Um, Riker, or Mr. Lorena, or Mr. Teledano. <laughs> Get it out in a minute. <laughs> Seeing no person in the queue, please vote. Turning into my mother. <laughs> Motion is unanimous, three absent. Item number 13, ordinance count number 5997, ordinance to amend the 2018 operating budget amendment number five. Mr. Tanner, or Mr. Lorino? Second by Mr. Tanner. Seeing no member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item 14, ordinance count number 5998, ordinance amending the parish zoning map to reclassify 2.988 acres from A-2 to A-4A, um, A Ward 4, District 5. Mm -hmm. So moved. Moved by Mr. Teledano. Do we have a second? We have a second by Mr. Lorino. I have two cards. Is there any further discussion from the audience? All right. Um, seeing no member in the queue, please vote. That's that one. All right. That brings us. I do. It's I didn't. It's five nine nine. It's for the next item. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mr. Stefanczyk, I must have hit the button too soon. Your vote is? Yes. Mr. Stefanczyk is a yes. Motion is unanimous, three absent. Okay, that brings us to item number 15, ordinance count number 5999, ordinance amending the parish zoning map to reclassify 13.6 acres from I-2 to A-4A, -A, Ward 4, District 5. So moved. Moved by Mr. Teledonna. Second. And second by Mr. Thompson. See, um, we also have a card. Would you like to speak, Mr. Shane? Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, good evening. Uh, Jeff Shane of the Jones Fussell Law Firm, P.O. Box 1810 in Covington. I represent the petitioner in the last case as well as this case, Black Oak Holding, and you heard that appeal um, last month at your meeting. Uh, I simply wanted to put onto the record once again that we appreciate uh, the cooperation of the residents of uh, Strain Road uh, in reaching this accord, uh, led particularly by Ms. Cuvion, who's here this evening. I also want to thank uh, Councilman Taladana not only on behalf of myself and my client, but also the Strain Road residents who worked very hard to help us find this solution. Uh, last but not least, I wanted to place into the record the commitment of the developer to impose a deed restriction against both parcels that you will be rezoning the last case as well as this case that will limit the development of that property to A4A single family residential with a maximum density of 55 single family lots. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Shane. And I assume you found that into the public records and then you gave our clerk a copy? Just want to clarify that. Because you said, I thought, restrictions? Yes, those restrictions will be done during the subdivision process. Okay. They will be a free body and we will send one to Madam Clerk. All right. Thank you very much. Mr. Teledano, did you want no. to? Just very briefly, sure. Madam Chairman, thank you very much. I, I, I just want to say that this started out as a very contentious um, uh, applicant application originally, and, and um, I, I would be remiss if I did not uh, compliment this wonderful lady in the audience, Ms. Cuvion, who uh, took it upon herself to uh, uh, be the uh, spokesperson to a large extent and certainly a communicator to all those people in Strain Road to keep them well informed about what was taking place, uh, to let them know the pros and cons. Uh, she met with us. We, we broke out a small committee 
uh, to uh, representatives from the Strain Road area to work with to develop the Reaches Compromise. She did a heck of a job, and I do want to say on the record I appreciate her effort. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chaladano. Seeing no other member in the queue, please vote. Motion is unanimous, three absent. That brings us to item number 16, ordinance count number 6,000, ordinance to amend the ordinances regarding the moratorium on property within the portion of Bayou to Zany Basin and a portion of Flower Bayou Basin. Ward 1, District 1, Mr. Dean, finally getting to hear from you. So moved. <laughs> and we have a second from Mr. Fitzgerald. Seeing no other member in the queue, please vote. Like the Motion is unanimous, three absent. We've already opened items off of the floor with the unanimous vote. I will now ask if there's any other item that a member would like to add. Mr. Dean? None. Mr. Fitzgerald? None. Mr. Thompson? None. Mr. Teledano? Well, do I, procedurally, do I need to move on, on the first one, please? No, well, this is if you wanted to add any other item, because we did no, not do that. Than. Not yet. We'll move not on yet. that in a moment. So do you have another item you would like no, no, to no, add? No, okay. getting, getting excited. I'm All right. ready to go on Mr. Tanner? No. Uh, Mr. Lorino? No. Mr. Canulet? No. Mr. Belisario? Zero. Mr. Bryant's not here. Mr. Stefanczyk? No. Mr. Bender's absent. And What's Mr. Smith? Doing? Is she getting back? Okay. Anyone heard? I'm so sorry, Mr. Grovey. I apologize. Mr. Grovey, would, do you have any item? Thank you. That brings us to item number one, Mr. Teledano. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to move that the item as listed as number one on off the floor items uh, be uh, made a part of this agenda, and I move to open the floor for this purpose. Well, the floor is already open, so you, you just need a motion to to pass the resolution. And so do we have a second? Oh, Mr. Thompson would like so to second it. I see no other member Procedural in the queue. Flaw. Seeing no other member my, in the queue, please vote. My life coach right here just fell off. And just <laughs> that was my fault. That was my fault. Okay. So okay. we need Let's to try that again, yes. All right. Okay. Please try again. Mr. Lorino, there's no You can't help anybody. I know. I tried for years. Motion is unanimous, three absent. I believe that concludes the business of the council tonight. May I have a motion to adjourn? Mr. Dean Moot and, and Mr. Fitzgerald made the second. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.